What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster here on this beautiful Friday, May 27th, 2022 date. About 12.50 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 1.0 earthquake here into the area of California. It looks like right there on the globe. We did see some earthquake movement down south of us here along the plate boundary to our uh, to south of the uh, Baja California region. A 5.3 striking there on the globe just earlier let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here from the usgs map uh, showing some movement out here uh, we'll start out here along the western coast with a little activity kind of ramping up uh, throughout the southern portion of the state a uh, couple circles there indicated in the red by the uh, earthquake activity within the last hour haven't seen any major swarming going on but there's a little scattered activity uh, kind of picking up here on the Elsinore fault system and also up to the north south of Anaheim where we had a 1.8 within the last hour and also some activity here on the Imperial fault uh, with a 1.5 just south of um, the uh, little swarm that we had been watching uh, which is kind of dying down we didn't really see too much in terms of uh, uh, the multitude of quakes I was uh, watching this area pretty closely last night, but uh, nothing has came of it yet But again things can pop off out of the blue and uh, they can ramp up without any notice there along the Brawley seismic zone uh, Up north around the Long Valley super volcano some activity to the south around Bishop area and also just to the uh, uh, Outside of the uh, caldera the southern end of Long Valley super volcano caldera a couple small microquakes here on the map Let's go ahead and check out 2.5 and above doesn't look like we've had anything within the last uh, 24 hours in that department again most of this activity all microquake uh, throughout the region here a little activity kicking up around pyramid lake once again of course we did have a little swarm of activity in this region uh, over the past week looks like a total tally of about 58 earthquakes or so uh, and they've just completely come to a stop so um, not for sure what's going on there, but it's uh, something we will keep an eye on very closely. Mount Rainier, a couple small microquakes outside the area. And one right smack dab at the summit looks like a, a 0.9. Uh, pretty shallow though, about 0.6 kilometers for that earthquake in that region. Rest of the Pacific Northwest looks pretty quiet. Uh, Idaho and Montana getting a little swarming outside of Helena Montana region uh, just some very small microquakes in the area Yellowstone National Park there's not a whole lot going on there on the USGS map so we will verify that real quick here with the data that's being recorded and um, looks about the same looks like there's not a whole lot going on uh, throughout the region uh, looks like uh, some wind events and whatnot have been occurring up there, but far as earthquake activity goes, looks like maybe a little bit of a spitter spatter earthquake event right here. Just a couple very small microquakes uh, in this area of Upper Falls region, and it doesn't look like uh, it showed up too much across any of the seismographs. So just some very small microquakes there at Yellowstone National Park uh, throughout. Uh, northern utah salt lake city area also around ogden getting uh quite a few microquakes up there scattered out and about uh, the area of the great salt lake city area uh, texas and oklahoma texas has kind of filled in here a little bit uh compared to the past couple days it has been relatively quiet but it looks like a couple twos kicking off here over the last 24 hours within that region Let's see if my voice can sustain here the rest of the update nothing going on across the eastern part of the country for now anyway nothing showing up here on the new madrid zone either throughout the uh, puerto rico area got uh, typical swarming going on around the southwestern edge of puerto rico and some older movement outside of the dominican republic and north here of the puerto rico area from last night uh, no major movement since then uh, here's that uh well, these guys are showing a 4.9. I could have swore that uh, on the globe it was a 5.5 earthquake. Maybe a little bit of uh, uh, downgrading there from the USGS here on the plate boundary. 
South America region following that earthquake uh, yesterday, the seven pointer. Let's bring that up here real quick, show you guys that 7.2 southern Peru. Since then, we really haven't seen too much in terms of any further large scale movement. Uh, the only thing I can take note here and, and point out is the surface level quakes that have kicked up following that 7.2. Uh, looks like a 5.5. Uh, did kick off late last night and also a 4.8 uh, south of that region but uh, we've definitely noticed a lot more shallower earthquake activity following that deeper movement uh, with that 7.2 occurring in that area yesterday uh, let's see and the, this one here was from yesterday as well 5.1 and South Sandwich Islands starting to show some movement once again kicking up on the uh, map 5.1 way south here looks like prior to the uh, or right smack dab on the trench but pretty shallow at about 10 kilometers for that earthquake uh, throughout the Atlantic Ocean things appear to be calm and clear at the moment uh, across the western Pacific a little spotty activity uh, including that uh, of course this 6.2 that came in last night um, in this area it looks like we've seen uh, I think this was a little foreshock here, that 4.5 in the region of the Indonesia area. Since then, no subsequent movement uh, specifically in that area. We did see some back building here from the east showing up around Fiji once again with uh, some pretty deep earthquake activity overnight, including a 4.6. This one at 627 kilometers. That's pretty deep, folks. It's almost about as deep as they can get in this area. I have seen some very close to the... Uh, 700 kilometer range but man uh, not too often do we get those earthquakes down that deep uh, up here along the northwestern portion of the pacific ring of fire one earthquake off the coast of japan 64 uh, kilometers for that 4.7 also down here around the uh, mariana trench i've seen a uh, 4.5 earthquake around guam at uh, 186 kilometers pretty deep earthquake there in the trench area Alaska seen a pretty good swarm of movement up here along the Aleutian Trench. This has been kind of ongoing here over the past seven days of key up the last week or so. And I think we've seen a little bit of heightened activity throughout the region. There is some volcanoes out there kind of rumbling a little bit uh, with some earthquake activity. And specifically up here around this area. A lot of earthquakes here within the vicinity of some unmonitored volcanoes. Uh, I don't believe we I don't believe we've seen any changes here with the statuses here of the volcanoes. We'll go ahead and check that out here real quick on the hazard notification system for volcanoes. In this case, the Alaskan Volcano Observatory. They got a couple updates that were put out here yesterday. Things uh, things look like they are still um, stable at least far as the um, the monitored volcanoes go. Let me check out the latest update here from yesterday. Uh, the Great Sitkin Volcano. Looks like eruption of lava continues with elevated surface temperature. Um, ob observed in partly cloudy satellite data. Uh, no significant seismic activity was detected. These are the orange and watch ones. We are seeing a little bit, like I say, low level eruptive activity continues there. Uh, Cleveland Volcano shows elevated surface temperatures in the steam and sulfur dioxide gas plume. So definitely some increase in activity throughout the volcanoes um, in the whole, um, Alaska area. Like I say, notice all these quakes here over the last 24 hours. And just more specifically, the last week uh, could be getting, uh, getting ready to maybe uh, get a couple volcanoes there blowing. We'll keep an eye on that, obviously. Uh, in Hawaii, not a whole lot going on today. This here is the all magnitudes map. A couple earthquakes kind of trailing off here at the southeastern portion of the Big Island. Nothing specific here at the Loihi Seamount. Uh, one earthquake way, way out in the Pacific. Uh, a 2.8 in this area. Pretty shallow at about 10 kilometers. Uh, let's see what we got here. Tremor map last night was still pretty... Uh, pretty active 520 epicenters up and down the board 
That makes day number five or six of uh, some pretty good trimmer. Uh, fall canic activity here at Mount St. Helens. Uh, I believe uh, they, they still only have that one earthquake here from a couple days ago and then prior to that over almost two weeks ago. And looking at the live recorded data here at the dome station still show some activity here um, overnight or actually early this morning it looks like see that red spike and a couple smaller earthquakes in there as well this has been an ongoing deal for quite a while uh, see these earthquakes up here there's the 7.2 and some s waves from the other sixes that kicked up yesterday but uh, still an ongoing movement of um, some swarming going on there at uh, Mount St. Helens which we continue to keep an eye on to some very very small microquakes in that department uh, nothing nothing really going on here at the buoy stations across the globe across the map uh, everything looks appears to be calm for now space weather event we did have a, a KP index kick up here around the 5 range it's going to be uh, right here on this map it was from a uh, glancing blow of a um, of a uh, coronal hole that we were talking about here looks like they've updated it here the onset of an expected coronal hole a solar wind stream was responsible for a period of minor g1 storming uh, geomagnetic storming uh, just earlier today uh, additional enhancements will be possible during the next 24 hours due to the current ch stream along with a predicted glancing blow cme passage so we'll keep an eye on that these guys uh, still remaining with a forecast of four to five over the next uh, couple days there. There's that KP index up into the five there. We did see a little amplification from the speed right here. See that elevated yellow line there indicating some uh, solar wind speed kicking up. Also the density kicked up as well from the, uh, from the uh, solar wind, the coronal hole activity. A little bit of uh, southward tilt as well. There's a temp also uh, showing some elevated movement as uh, far as direct sunspot activity goes man there's a uh, there's just a, not a whole lot i don't like to see a whole bunch of green here on the flares that means that activity is very minimal uh, 2023 looks like it could be growing maybe uh, have a possibility of some flaring coming up uh, all these other ones just do not look super enhanced in terms of any type of activity uh, there's these guys um, active region probabilities looks like 3024 right there as noted uh, comes in agreement with what I was uh, well 3024 this is going to be this one down here I'm looking at 3023 I think that one's got a little bit more potential uh, than this activity but either way these two sunspots are definitely growing and uh, we'll keep an eye on those as they rotate in the view or rotate towards the earth there's that coronal hole still looks like it's growing as it's facing away from earth uh, that was responsible for the uh, little uptick in the KP index that we've seen today uh, let's see what else there is folks I think that's about it uh, for right now uh, not a whole lot else going on across the map uh, currently but uh, like I say it is Friday it's not Friday the 13th but it is a Friday things things tend to uh, kind of amplify a little bit on the weekend side so we'll see how it goes folks 1.9 there in oklahoma the latest quake on the earthquake 3d globe hope everyone enjoys their day uh stay safe out there it's getting crazy out in the world unfortunately but uh, it, you know it's something we have to go along with it just for the ride i guess but we will uh at least here on my end i'm gonna i like to stay behind my gate and inside away from uh society in a way it's kind of my uh my peace of mind because when i go out and venture outside man things are just crazy out in the world um but it you know it just gotta go with the flow so to speak all right guys we'll chat you a little bit later tonight um uh, I, i'm not for certain if missy mimi's is going to be here for the uh question and answer show tonight if she's not i will be up here um, myself, uh, Missy Mimi's has been busy with some, some, uh, ongoing stuff here on her business side. So, uh, gotta let her, um, you know, do her thing. And, and when she does have time, she'll definitely be here on the stream, uh, 
to do some updates and whatnot. But uh, either way, tonight I will be here and we'll do the update a little bit later on. Probably going to shoot for, uh, let's see here, it is Friday night. I like to do it around 7 o'clock or so, my time, West Coast time. That would be 10 o'clock East Coast, uh, 9 for the uh, Central, 8 Mountain, and of course here West Coast, 7 o'clock. So we'll be out here, folks. There's that 5.3, a little bit larger there on the Pacific Plate boundary. Um, it looks like the EMSC um, put that notification out because the USGS was only shown at 4.9. So uh, once again, combination of USGS and the EMSC model data here on the globe. Uh, last 24 hours of earthquake activity. And um, if you're new to the channel, these rings here, when they're raised off of the globe, indicate some deep earthquake movement, such as these fours that I was talking about, well below 600 kilometers. They show that the rings are raised way off the globe, indicating some deep earthquake movement. When they're super shallow, it kind of looks like that the uh, 6.2 that struck last night very close to the surface, such as that 3.0 as well. Uh, newest earthquake is going to be in the green flag. Uh, recent earthquakes are going to look like this white ring here. And the older, most older earthquakes are going to be a dark red color, uh, kind of like this activity up into the uh, Aleutian Trench here. See these dark red color lines. So I'm going to point that out uh, for the new folks that are joining the channel. I've uh, got quite a few subscribers here wondering uh, what all this means. So I'll try to point that out in, in the update videos or whenever I'm live uh, to just kind of give a uh, give a little brief disc, uh, description. All right, guys, I'm going to bounce out of here. Have a good day. We will see you back here later tonight, 7 p.m. West Coast time here, sharp. And uh, we'll check out activity around the globe and uh, kind of chat about a uh, little bit of activity, possibly maybe a supernova event coming up here. This year, we'll look at some details in a little bit more description uh, in a couple of stories here later tonight. So have a good day, folks. We'll see you back here at 7 o'clock.